world and all its treasure shall belong to me, Spydra, once I eliminate Gadget Boy! <laughs> Gadget Boy! He's so much smarter than the rest. Gadget Boy! Cause his gadgets work the best. This will be the scariest monster warrior slave yet! <laughs> okay, give me room, give me room! You dithering dullards! I want monsters to do my bidding! And what do I get? Take out! Well, I was just warming up! Okay, think monster, think monster! Huh? With this brilliant costume for our party, Agent Nasa will finally notice me. I begin. Be accepted. We're dressing up as each other for the costume party. I thought you were dressing as the chief. Oh, uh, well, uh, no, I, uh, I think I'll just stay here and try to be invisible. My taxi tie is picking up a time discontinuity by Lake Geneva, Switzerland in 1816. That's where Mary Shelley came up with the idea for her famous novel, Frankenstein. Ooh. Come on, the baby. Show us your inventions. I put the dab inventions in eggs to fit my costume that I won't be wearing. A shell with inner shell. You're an ingenious chicken, Dabble. Actually, that's a musical smoke screen in an egg shell. <laughs> No flowers came from eggs, devil. And that is a boutonnier itsy bitsy sprayer. <laughs> Please catch the boy. Be careful. That is a bucket of dry. Oh. <laughs> careful with that itsy bitsy sprayer, boutonnier chief. Where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it a bucket of wet. We better get going, Gadget uh, Boy. Uh, the new modem will pinpoint your landing right in the middle of the Shelley's house on Lake Geneva. Modem time, D9! At least your costume came in handy for something. There's just one thing I should explain. No need. I already knew. A seance is just a game, Mary. Play along, darling. It's just like telling stories of ghosts and goblins around a fire. Who knows what kind of evil spirits we could conjure up with this game? My darling, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. We're artists, poets, free thinkers. Did you hear something? Oh dear. <laughs> Is the famous free thinking 
Lord Byron afraid? Well, perhaps in an artistic sort of way. I'm more of a romantic poet. And I think fear is appropriate right about now. Did our seance call you from the other side? Yeah, the other side of the door. Silence, you babbling leathery bummer! Come, Mary! I have another game for you to try! So much for pinpoint accuracy. The Shelley's house is on the other side of the lake. I'll borrow the sailboat and scout ahead. We'll see you at the masquerade party, Agent Heather. But first, I have to change my costume. Someone here is already dressed as G9. I think my diary will be getting an earful tonight. Please don't hurt us. We're just poets. I'm Percy B. Shelley, and this is Lord Byron. Silence, you nefarious nattering nincompoops! About those ghost stories, I need you to imagine some monster warriors. <gasps> what a remarkable apparition! Now that's what I call a monster! Reminds me of my Aunt Edna on the Bad Feather Day. According to my copy book, this is where Mary Shelley came up with the idea for her novel, Frankenstein. Next time, I want to sail too. You're sunk, Agent Humdrum. Uh, romantic poet's my foot! You had to insult her bag? I only said that after that ugly bagging face, I want no more to do with sales. Maybe this will teach you some manners. <laughs> He went ugly in a good way. Oh dear, oh, suffering is good for our art. I want my mommy. That ought to hold them. How's it coming, Boris? Hmm. There's something familiar about these guys, but I can't quite put my wing on them. <laughs> <laughs> Now. <laughs> now you can have this! I'll lose more anchors that way. Have a nice swim back to Spider-Mania! I have another idea. Something I've been toying with for a story. Writers! <laughs> Hurry up, Boris! Yeah! my pillow last night. Wow! I did not sleep, nor could I be said to think. My imagination yeah. possessed and guided yeah. me with a vividness <laughs> far beyond the usual bonds of reverie. Wow! <laughs> um, my queen is getting a mighty impatient. <laughs> okay, here goes. It's alive! It's alive! That's all the monsters I can think of. Except maybe a half-bat, half-man monster. Nah, too silly. Now that I have the most monstrous army the world has ever known, I have another job for you, Boris. 
You're going to write the novel Frankenstein with me as the hero. But I don't out, even out, like scary novels. Ah! Make me immortal or I'll scare you into the old vulture's home. What do you think of my costume, G9? I'm shrubbery. Mm -hmm. Missed it by that much. <laughs> You're right. There must be a custom around here somewhere. <laughs> you must be the costume makers my dog was telling me about. I'm ready to be fitted. Fitted to be tied? <laughs> uh, try this costume on for size bionic boob. I mean, uh, nice potty goer. <laughs> Behave, G9. These nice gentlemen are measuring me for my costume. The dance will be drawn and quartered. <laughs> I hope this costume comes in an extra long. The makers seem to have disappeared, G9. We have to get to the party. The sun's going down, and I still don't have a costume. See that, G9? Everyone has a great costume. I've got to find something. I can make a great Julius Caesar costume with this. A2, G9? I'm sorry, but I can't seem to find my invitation. Do you think anyone 
never mind that I can't find my invitation. Hey! I guess I'll just let myself in. Not an idea, man. I can't write. Why, I can't even think of a single thing a monster would do. Suffering from writer's block? That's why I brought someone to help you. Just write down whatever my little helper does to you. is unblocking by the minute. I shall compose a poem to her. No, I shall. Thy voice sounds tender, like the fairest liquid splendor, and walks upon the wind with lightness. A very coldness was Kyle. Her small hand withdrew, yet left its light touch upon Don Juan's heart. I think we should go now. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Run! This way! Was it something I said? Great party, guys! Don't be a pretty dog, Gina. I mean, they're just costumes. I think they like my outfit. I may even win a prize. <laughs> your bad behavior, we'll never get invited back, G9. <laughs> I finished the novel, your deviousness. I have a fighting force of fearsome monsters and a famous work of fiction to celebrate my fiendishness. <laughs> Have the carriage driver take this to the publisher. Then we return to the present. I love winning. Will I get a writing credit on the book? In your dreams, you humdrum hack. Take this to the publisher. <laughs> yeah. I hope you weren't expecting a tip. Gadget Boy, stop that carriage! Great costume agent, Heather. You look just like a horse. That fake copy of Mary Shelley's book will alter history! G9, we've got to catch that carriage. They kidnapped Agent Heather in her horse costume. You know, G9, a race car might have been more efficient. Hello, Agent Hazel. 
I wanted to show you that I can write love poems too. Not now, Myron. That's it. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so we can go home. You should sleep well knowing history is intact, nice birdies. Good night. Could you leave the night light on, Gadget Boy? I'll get Gadget Boy if it takes all time! And we have lots of time! Yeah, especially since it'll be 180 years before we can get spider crown parts. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> 